It took me six weeks to get permission from the tribal council president to enter this native owned island. It's like walking into a freezer. How many of them? There's lots of them. That is massive. What do you think happened? You got yetis? Mailmen by dog sled. Yeah. We're so happy we're American. Those little men. What are they? We don't know what they are. That's an old village out there, right? So you guys are always living with life and death here, huh? Yeah. Most perfect rainbow I've ever seen in my life. That's what happens when you're on an island in a village of under a thousand people. Islanders rule the island. <laughs> Here we are, Savunga, St. Lawrence Island, far from the Alaskan mainland, 30 something miles to Russia, that direction. Today, we're gonna meet up with some locals who are gonna take us way up into those mountains in search of reindeer. When's the last time you saw reindeer, Jason? Uh, no, a few months ago when I was heading down to whaling camp. Whaling camp, how far is whaling camp? It's about 35, 30 miles or 35 miles or so. And that's where you hunt the whale every year? Yeah. Every spring you get one whale, right? One or more, yeah. One or more. And that... that we get uh, like six or seven strikes per year. And that feeds the village yeah. for the year. Jason, I just realized you've never lived around trees, huh? No. There's not one tree? Nope. There's uh, bushes, no? Some bushes on the east side of the island. You said That's yesterday you were out on this there, point? Yeah. What were you doing out there? I was uh, digging, excavating. You find anything cool? Yeah, I, I found uh, small chunks, scraps and teeth, a couple artifacts. Because that's an old village out there, yeah. right? It used to be an old village. You couldn't eat those flowers? Try that, that's pretty good. Like this? I was no, messing no, with no. you. I was messing with you. Take it off and suck on the. Oh, just eat the yeah. the buds. Yeah. Do you taste it? Mm-hmm. Mild taste, you know. Pointing yeah, the flowers right taste. there. Yeah. Is this where the story ends? I get poisoned on Savunga. You guys take off. Kind of fucked up. I know. The reindeer. The reindeers eat me. He was the one No, I used to do that growing up. Were you born on the island? I am born here and raised in the island. When I was growing up, our first language was our language, Siberian Yupik. But now it's English first, but it's Haina. How do you feel about that? Right now, I'm saying I am very sorry the language a beautiful language is going to be lost if it is you don't beautiful. teach it. But there is still, it. it's still preservable <laughs> if we do something about it. So when you and Dora speak, if you were together, you'd speak Yupik, right? You flew and, and that boy and her kids too. But me, Jason, and Bye-Bye uh, were fluent. And we'd speak... Pig Latin too. Can we can we hear some Yupik? Yeah. I adore Nagan Bitsi. Oh good a dam and be nak is that too much? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's like it's like poetry. Yeah. It's like a song. When I hear the men talk, they're like singing. Oh. And they're, because they're out in the ice and they're talking about how exciting it is about their hunting, whatever. But they're more like singing than women. You have one of the most beautiful places I've seen in the world. I've been to 85 countries. Ancient. You're what? Our camp. It's ancient. <laughs> it's just back there. How ancient? 
very ancient. Our great grandmother, when the, all the villages around the island still lived, she was a little girl. They were going camping. They stopped by when our camp still had people there and their traditional playground uh, model of an igloo still. The girls brought her there to play. And then years later, she got married to our step grandfather. Mm. And he built a house there. There's weight lifts, traditional jumping stones, traditional weight lifts, uh -huh. traditional uh, Aztecs like uh, exercising grounds that nobody can play I was anymore. telling you about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did the first Yupik people come here? There were people here probably before that and most later after that, like our clan came from Siberia. How many years ago was that? It was like thousands. I think the la latest people that came probably would have came about 1800 or late 1800. Yeah. Close to 1900. Do you feel very fortunate to live here? Yeah. We're so happy we're Americans, not from up there. We, we, would, we would probably have different kinds of life. If you were Russian? Yeah. Because Russia's not even 40 miles from here. Mm -hmm. Do you feel connected to the United States or you feel like you're on, in your own country? In both ways. Okay, yeah. Because we're isolated. When the pandemic came, yeah. we followed their rules. And then we tell them, the older people, We even some older people from me, when they say something to or the way I go, we tell them and they follow our ways of because long time ago when the Russians used to come down, they would build a big fire and make torches and they could he they heated every person before they set forth foot on the island in Gam. They burned every person? No. Heat oh. with a hot torch, uh, and they heat women, children. Uh, then finally, to their stuff. Then finally, their oars and everything and okay. before they. And they said nobody no, used to get sick. Islanders rule the island. We don't let Washington D.C. rule. Good for you. Right, it does. And I'm so glad she's working. I'm proud of what they're doing with the IRA. She used to be my student when she was in junior high. Okay. No, it's... You guys will become leaders one of these days. We brains. I used to teach. When I teach my culture, I go from the past to modern and have them try and predict in the future what, what it's going to be like. Right, guys just want to get out of the wind here and make some observations I've only been here two days on the island as you can see stunningly beautiful but as far as the culture goes it's been a real eye-opening experience uh, just to see how these people are so connected that's what happens when you're on an island in a village of under a thousand people everybody knows everybody I'm sure the harsh conditions make people really tribe together, especially in the winter. I'm sure there's problems. I'm sure some people don't get along. It's the way humans are. But overall, it's just been very warming to be taken in here. Everyone's been very cool to me, very friendly. You know, they don't have to be. I'm the odd man out coming onto the island. The one guy that doesn't look like everyone else and nothing but friendliness. Uh, very humbling. So we're gonna continue looking. The guys are saying they still think we can find reindeer. Even if we don't, we found this. 
Got something cook you? No, man. I'm good. I have uh, Yetis here. You got Yetis? Yeah, that's what they say. Because uh, back then, uh, my cousins, they were riding, you know, the windmills? Uh huh. They were riding that way, and they thought they seen a fox or an owl, and they shot at it. Because the eyes were real close when it stood up, the eyes said it was 12 feet long. Next day later, they seen big, big uh, footprints. So you're saying that's a Yeti? Something like that. Abominable snowman, they call it. That's reindeer, yeah? Yeah. How old do you think this one is? It's still pretty white. And the fur is down here. It's probably uh, springtime or winter. What do you think happened? Someone killed it. Predators. I think like someone killed it. Yeah. Yeah. The way the up. bones are apart must be from the predators. Wolf or Gavik uh, or Wolverine. So you guys are always living with life and death here, huh? Yeah, I wear it and they'll come. <laughs> <laughs> so you think a herd just got attacked up here? Probably did, yeah. By wolves. They look to some kind of worm bro. Quite a bit of There's worms in there? Yeah, I think there's one right there. Oh, that right there. Good. Ah, <laughs> got me. Did you catch you that? You finally on got me. You finally got me. Did you catch that on the recording? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you finally got me. That was like the tenth try. So when you kill a reindeer, is there a ceremony? Is there anything that you do? Is there a prayer? You could say a prayer. You know. Back then, when they used to tell um, seals and walruses, they, they used to pop their mm -hmm. eyes so they don't. So they don't see it. They put uh, water in their mouth. Seal. Uh, water, so the seal won't get thirsty. You give the seal water so it doesn't yeah. get thirsty. Mm -hmm. When? Before you kill it? After. After you kill it. You see Koinik? Yeah. Right down there. Great. Great. Check it out. Check it out. So How many of them? There's Wait, lots. Look. Look. Just where, look where am I looking? Across. Beneath the yeah. snow? In here. And then look straight across Throw from where I'm at. Those are uh, Tascos. There they are. They are walking. Okay, so it's like a total view. Now show. they're moving. How many do you think that is? Maybe something. Well, I think they're going this way. They're sort of split in the middle. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they're going oh, they're this way, splitting. one group they're going that way, the other group going this way. Yeah. Uh, that is massive. Hey, bro, check out your gun. I'll try to shoot from here. They're small. <laughs> they're all over. When's the last time you guys saw a herd like that? I mean, not me. Uh, uh, I've seen like a uh, herd of uh, hundred over. A uh, few weeks, a couple weeks back. time when I was coming back from Wales. Okay. I've seen a couple of herds. I hopped on, turn it on, and I'm my Now they're all going this way, the Dora. <laughs> Mom, they're following the wind. Yeah, they're following the wind. So you were pretty close last That's year like to the... A couple hundred Mary. or so. If I yeah, wasn't scared, I would have, yeah, you know, like... take my phone oh, no. and... <laughs> but instead yeah, I had to go on the hunt and gun it. <laughs> you want to, Mom? Huh? Go down to that mountain, you get a better view for the one, the bigger herd. This way, it's no wood. This trail. You see the hind leg trail? That's pretty cool. It's like walking into a freezer. So beautiful.
<laughs> okay, you, you guys are teaching me Yupik. Mm -hmm. Suka. Suka, not not the, no, the Russian no. meaning. It means hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it means hurry up. Suka. Okay. Try to see our longest. Um... What does that mean? It's like we were supposed to say thank you, but Igamse Kayu Vikamgin is thank you. Okay. Igamse in short. You have very long words. How many letters is your name? Ten hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Heard stories back then from the elders, those little men. What are they? We don't know what they are. They always see them. Not just here in Sibunga and other villages too. The one they've seen here in Yuna uh, Creek, they both had um, cell skin and they like a tone hat made out of silk skin too. Growing up, my um, grandparents taught me about them. If you see them, don't ever try to catch or throw anything at them or something because they're very strong. What What is their purpose? What are they doing? They just show up. Okay. You seen them? My niece seen them when she used to work at school. They break daylight, broad daylight, broad daylight, like eight, nine in the morning. She went to work to school. Mm -hmm. Going up the stairs, she, she seen a small little man just standing there, all black, you know, tongue out, she, like torn up. Clothing, okay. teared up or something, but she didn't see that face, it was all black. My brother, my oldest daughter, they've seen some tall, some small with long tail, gray, and some are black, green, red eyes. Every time, every year, we used to go camping to our camp. One time, my youngest brothers were playing out, playing hide and seek. And then when it was getting dark, they went back to the cabin. And one of my brothers were not there. They keep yelling at his name. No response, but... They only told my dad about it, and my dad told them not to tell the rest of his brothers because they were older than him. So they went to go yelling at his name. And after that, my brother told his brothers that uh, my brother Miller, late Miller, was not responding to their yell or whatever. Maybe after that, they came he came and they asked him, where, where have you been? And he told them that um, the little people were, you know, when he was trying to go back. They wouldn't let him go back? Yeah, trying to take him somewhere like that. But I guess when they heard the adult voice, they went away. They say, don't be scared of ghosts? Because once you are scared of them, they'll bother you more. And one thing they could tell us is to say, in Jesus' name, go away. Just tell them to go away? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, okay. After they've passed away, you're, you'll feel your loved ones come back into your life. Like they'll touch you gently or hug. I was playing phone, laying down. And then I felt somebody really hugging me from my back. Okay. I didn't even bother to look back or anything. 
Coast knowing maybe she's saying goodbye to me. <laughs> okay. I made a movie about him and a story about him. Mailman by dog sled. Yeah. He used to bring mail from here to gamble by dog sled. I'm sorry, your husband's grandfather, right? Dad. Dad. Not even that long ago. Back in the 70s, I think. 70s? It was dog sled mail all the way to Gamble, which is far. Mm -hmm. Wow. And um, one time he stopped at the camp, somewhere over there, and he heard something behind him, like, getting louder and louder. Even his dogs were barking out. So he just got up, went out, started his dogs, and didn't look back. Yeah, one of the dogs on the track. It was an animal or it was a spirit? He didn't bother to look, but he said there was a big, heavy breathing behind him. And uh, one time he was going, and he noticed he was up in the air going around with his dogs. Uh huh. Up in the air? Yeah. Wow. So he would like hallucinate or something. Uh, that area somewhere, I think it could um, tease you or something. Oh, okay. Like in fog, you would try to go, but same, same way back and forth. But for what we heard, if a man or a female peas, it will go away. Peas? Most perfect rainbow I've ever seen in my life. One of the most beautiful places. Almost midnight, it's still light out. Some sprinkles, some snow, some beautiful grass and greenery. Lava, those are volcano cones over there, huh? Yep. Everything's volcanic here. Yep. So vibrant, it's colors. Private island. It's all for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me into it. No, I really appreciate it. Couldn't have gotten here without you. All right, guys, we've come to the close. The search for reindeer. And I feel like we sort of accomplished it, you know? I thought it was gonna end at the skulls, but we saw them through the telephoto lens. Okay, it would have been better to pet them, but let's be realistic. What an adventure, what a place. Got a little education about Siberian Yupik culture also, and some of the most beautiful scenery. Definitely the most beautiful rainbow I've ever seen. So thanks for coming along on that journey. Have a couple other videos from this very fascinating, <laughs> very fascinating island. Everyone seems to be out and about. It's one in the morning. I think they just get in as much summer as possible. So other videos about this very special, beautiful, spiritual, powerful place. And with that said, I'm going to the old medical clinic uh, where I'm going to catch some Z's. All right, guys, until the next one.